You know, for some with the tarot code enforcement, it's the worst case of animal neglect that they have seen. Just this week, a call brought officers to a home where a dog weighed dozens of pounds under his expected weight. Sadie All joins us now here in the studio with our top story. Sadie, Tom, uh, I, I just, Tom, I'm reading the prompter. It is unbelievable when I saw pictures of that dog. It really is. It's sad. And, and I'm not sure which, which part is actually worse, that the dog weighed roughly 14 yeah. pounds or that he had a massive tumor on his mouth that kept him from eating. Uh -huh. Now, this case was one that there was no good outcome. And we want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see may be disturbing. This is the dog that Terre Haute Code Enforcement found Wednesday afternoon after a neighbor called in. Extremely emaciated. Uh, we attempted to give it a sedative to help ease uh, any nerves that I had going on, um, any pain it was having. But unfortunately, it was so emaciated that whenever we injected the dog with the sedative, the solution dripped right out of its skin. A massive tumor on the dog's mouth had grown over his jaw, back of tongue, and neck. As you can imagine, there would be no way to eat comfortably, and this dog hadn't in weeks. Steve Williams with Code Enforcement tells me the dog was rushed to a local vet. The dog should have weighed well over 50 pounds, and then when we took it in, the vet did weigh, uh, weighed about 14 to 15 pounds. The dog was euthanized because his condition was so severe. This is a rarity seen by code enforcement and the Terre Haute Humane Society. Sarah Valentine tells me both entities work closely together to provide better care to animals. We receive animals from code enforcement almost daily. A lot of the times we do get them back home because that's our ultimate goal. We want them to go back home to their people. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen. It like with this case. Now code enforcement is looking to press charges against the dog's owner once the investigation is complete. Despite the outcome of this case, there's one positive detail, that the dog was reported. More citizens are concerned about animals in their area, um, neighbors' animals, uh, etc. Uh, more people are just watching out for those animals. If you see something suspicious with a local animal, Code Enforcement will check it out. If you have a pet that you cannot care for, Code Enforcement will connect you with appropriate resources. In this case, the tumor was untreated for several months. Now, the uh, animal shelter here in town, they work closely with Code Enforcement, right? They do. They told me that they brought in animals close to every day, and they actually receive a lot of animals from Code Enforcement that they say were just wandering around, mm -hmm. and they were found. They're usually microchipped, but this case, specifically was pretty rare and unfortunate. You could tell there was a problem, obviously, when you first laid eyes on that point. Yes. All right, Sadie, thank you.